left fielding a uh, forehand. You, as we get to this ball, you do a good job breaking down, slowing your feet down, getting into a good position where we can field this ball athletically. You'll see right here you're stopping, you're getting into a good fielding position. You gather yourself very nicely. You bring the ball to your chest, get into a good position to throw. You get your body in line. If you look here, your shoulders are in line with first base, and your body keeps moving that way. Changing direction, cutting the corner is what I like to say. Your arm action looks good right there. Um, your Everything stays on line. Here's another ball pretty much right at you. Um, the one thing I would like to shorter and more direct to that ball, not have big steps because if the ball is more compact, it's smaller. Um, do a good job top hand. Again, you do a good job gathering to your chest. Everything's on target and everything's going toward first base pretty well. That, that is one thing I would like to see. If the hips could fire a little bit earlier while the hands stay in position, and hold back as long as possible. It looks like you catch the ball a little bit out front right there. It's totally fine. You use that as soon as that heel lands, that's your that's your trigger. That's what's gonna make you go. <coughs> At this time, that's when your hands and everything's gonna start to go to that ball. You get a little bit rotational. Um but you do a good job. Your hands stay tight for the most part to your shoulder. What a lot of coaches talk about is shaft to shoulder, shaft being the barrel, and then your shoulder. Everything's connected right there. It's good, strong. That's good, good position to be in, a good balanced position right there. Again, same thing. Heel lands. Everything's starting to go together generate a little bit more pop into your swing right there. Notice